Hi everybody, I'm Viv Naturally and welcome to my very first YouTube channel. Um, I am hoping that I can be informative on certain hair care techniques, product usage uh, for the curly girls out there who may have hair texture similar to mine and may find that it seems unmanageable or unable to be tamed. And I'm here to tell you that it can be. It just, you have to find the right stuff. You have to do the right techniques. It's all about figuring out what works best for you. Um, Slight disclaimer, everyone is different. Of course, the techniques and the products that work for me may not work for you, but I do say try. What I learned through my natural hair journey is that sometimes you have to try a lot of things before you actually figure out what, what works for you. Let's get ready and I hope you enjoy my video. So hey everybody, I'm fresh out the shower. This is with absolutely no product. So my hair doesn't go like uh, <laughs> straight down or get super thin or the illusion of thin, but yet this is exactly what it looks like, sans product. Um, I lost about this much hair today, which is actually pretty normal for me every week. Um, as you can see, it really doesn't do anything for my hair loss or for my hair shape or volume losing that much. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to get prepared to deep condition. And I'm using this Shea Moisture Strengthen Growth and Restore. I do stick with Shea Moisture for a lot of the deep conditions. Um, they were the first product line I tried out when I went natural. So... I still have, I guess, somewhat of a loyalty to Chick Shea Moisture. They're great products. It's just that in the course of trying so many other things, I found other products that work better for other needs. But as far as deep conditioning can, can goes, Shea Moisture is pretty good. So we got the consistency here. I'm going to start adding. At this point, I'm just adding deep conditioner to my hair. I'm trying to drench my hair as much as possible. I'm going to end up putting my hair in two flat twists so I can actually sit under the steamer and make sure that I get the full benefits of the steam. Um, I'm going to split my hair on the side where I normally part my hair so that once the deep conditioning is done, I can get back in the shower and take out my hair or take out the deep conditioner for my hair without actually uh, causing any more potential frizz because it is very easy for me to comb out my curls on accident. So that's where we're at, the, at at this point. At this point, you can see my two flat twists. I am clipping them to the top of my head just so I can get the actual benefits of the steam. Um, if I don't clip it to my head, then it's really just my scalp that I get the benefits of the steam and my ends in the bottom part of my hair will kind of just hang past my shoulders and I want to make sure I get the full benefits of the steam process. Okay, so I am fresh out the shower again. Uh, deep condition is done. Um, I usually do this next process in the shower so I am going to have to continuously wet my hair to get it the way I need to get it. Um, so to start the process, I do use Diva Curl One Condition. I've used Diva Curl One Condition, Diva Care One Condition, which is actually my favorite, and Diva Curl Decadence, which is the new line um, for super super curly hair. I really do love that line and that conditioner. My only thing is that the smell can actually be overwhelming for me and actually give me a headache. I guess I'm just weird. At this point, I'm adding the DivaCare One Condition to my hair. I'm going to separate my hair and put it into four sections so that it's easier for me to go ahead with my next process. Uh, once I have it divided into the sections, I'll take one section and start to rake in the conditioner slowly but surely. I am also using the DivaCare Styling Cream at this point. Uh, I don't really use gel. I've used it before, but I noticed that I left my hair very, very... Um, hard. So as you can see I'm finger curling some of my hair but I'm definitely using the Diva Curl Styling Cream. It's very soft um, but it still leaves my hair very much defined. At this point I've gotten to the third section of my hair. 
The front of my hair is actually one of my most difficult parts. As you can see, there's a lot of areas that I actually have to finger curl. Um, I'm not sure why. I don't believe that it's damage. Um, my hair has just been like that for a while. And finger curling allows me to reduce the frizz and also allows my hair to actually look um, cohesive, in a sense, uh, towards the back of my hair. So I'm not sure if it's maybe because I have actually two textures um, different from the front and the back, but finger curling helps me. Um, and I try and do it in very, very small strands so that it looks more uniform and it looks more natural. Okay, I think you guys have seen enough on how I actually do my sections and how I actually apply the product. So we're going to skip to... Uh, the next section, which goes over my different blow dryer diffusers and get started with this process. This is my diffuser. This is called a hot sock. Um, the reason why I bought it is because my DivaCare um, or DivaCon, whichever, a stylist actually uses it. And of course, I want to be just like him when I grow up. So. This works really good. Um, when I want to get to my roots, I do use this diffuser attachment. It is collapsible. Got it on Amazon for I think like 14 or 15 dollars, not that much. But I'm actually going to use this part first just to get my roots and then I'll work with the bottom. Because I feel like I could dry the bottom and the top will be still wet and you have to think about it, gravity, stuff falls down. So at the very most, if I can get this kind of dry, it's going to work down. Or at least that's my theory. During this part of the process, I'm actually just trying to dry my roots. Um, I don't normally use heat. I actually have the blow dryer on cool. Uh, if I do have to use heat, I'll use it on low and I'll use a heat protectant. But for now, I'm just using cold air or cool air to try and dry the roots of my hair before I proceed to the rest of my hair. At this point in the video, I'm actually looking at my hair as it dries and seeing that there are certain parts that are still frizzy. So I'm going back and I am finger curling those particular spots so that I can re-dry them and my hair can actually curl the way it needs to. As you can see now, my hair is a little fuller. It's a little bit more dry, but it's nowhere as dry as it needs to be. So this process continues. At this point, my hair is, I want to say like three fourths dry. I'm shaking my hair because I want my curls to actually fall correctly. Um, time wise, I think with the blow dryer, this is probably a little bit over an hour, maybe an hour and 15. I uh, still got a little ways to go but there is a lot of progress, so that's always good. Okay, so I'm pretty much done. This is me at 95% dry. It generally is not gonna get any more drier than this. Um, I love the way my curls are forming, how they're falling. I will stand by the fact that I hate day one hair, but my hair is looking a lot better, so maybe I'll reconsider that. Um, what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna add some Millie Organics Mint almond oil and I'm just going to add it to my tips just scrunching up. I don't want a chance putting the oil on my whole head and uh, have it weighed down even though it is a very light oil but I do want to make sure that I seal in the moisture so this is my last process. Alright so at this point it's time for me to put my hair into my pineapple. I have my satin scrunchie and I'm going to add a little oil to my hands so that I reduce the friction as I put my hair into my pineapple. Okay, so I've got my hair in my full pineapple, and now I'm just putting my silk scarf on. Uh, you can either use a silk or satin. I usually just order mine from Amazon because I tend to rip them. Um, I also sleep with a satin pillowcase. I do that because I sleep a little wild, and sometimes I want to make sure that my edges are covered. So that way I feel like I'm extra protected, and... I can make it through the next day without really worrying about my edges drying out or, you know, getting stuck on the cotton pillow case or any of that other stuff. But thanks for watching. Bye. Hey guys, it's Viv Naturally checking in again. 
today is day three slash day four. So I want to give you guys a little preview of how my hair looks during the middle of the week. You can see my curls are pretty tight, but that's normal for me. I'll give you guys a back view. My hair tends to get really frizzy towards day six, day seven, or day eight. Uh, my definition of frizzy, of course. Um, but as of right now, I'm pretty content. My hair feels a little dry. I thought it was because I was outside and it's hot. But since I've been in the house, I do notice that it is still a little dry. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do is just make a little water and oil mixture with avocado oil and just spray it at my roots just to give it a little moisture because water is the best moisturizer. And avocado for me, avocado oil, helps my hair get really, really shiny. And then of course it seals in the moisture, so that's pretty good. So that's it for right now. We'll check in again on day seven or day eight. Hi. Hi everybody, this is Viv Naturally checking in again for the last and final time. Today is day seven. Um, this is a full week of how my hair turned out, how uh, much more stretchy it got over the last seven days. Today would normally be my wash day. However, with today being 4th of July, happy 4th of July everyone, I am not washing my hair today and tomorrow is my birthday so I'm not washing it tomorrow either. So I'm going to try and prolong this until Wednesday and then I'll start the process all over again. Um, I think this week I'm actually going to try a few of the products that I received when I went to Curl Fest. They have a, a really good array of co-washes, deep conditioners, uh, styling creams that I look forward to trying. But this is the end of the video and please feel free to leave any comments, suggestions, questions below. Also, please feel free to follow me on my blog at vivnaturally.blogspot.com and I'll see you another day. Bye.